Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the recent Brookfield spin-off and my reasons as to why I'm buying Brookfield Corporation stock and not buying Brookfield Asset Management. Brookfield is one of my favorite Canadian stocks with an amazing history of compounding capital and as a result, share price appreciation over time. They are expecting to continue to grow by almost 20% year over year until 2026, which is a great growth rate if they are able to achieve this. I recently analyzed their stock in detail and come to a conclusion that Brookfield Corporation is undervalued by a large margin and that's why I will buy this stock in 2023. This video, however, is not about valuation of Brookfield business and it's about the comparison between two different stocks related to Brookfield. As you probably know, Brookfield recently decided to spin off its asset management business as a separate publicly traded company. If you were an owner of the old BAM of the old Brookfield asset management, you received two new stocks with two new ticker symbols in your brokerage account in December. BN, which is the Brookfield Corporation, and BAM, which is the new Brookfield asset management. Brookfield Corporation or BN is similar to old BAM. It is the main corporation which has ownership over all Brookfield subsidiaries, which is led by Bruce Flatt as the CEO. Bruce Flatt is the master of his craft and with an impressive resume and an amazing history of leading Brookfield into a top class asset management firm in the world. BN is led directly by him, which is a major positive for me, and this company is focused on compounding capital over time by finding undervalued assets and businesses and buying them for cheap prices. And their business has three main pillars of asset management, insurance solutions, and operating businesses, which includes renewable energy, real assets, real estate, and infrastructures. According to the dividend document on Brookfield website, BN is going to pay a dividend of only seven cents per share per quarter. This is probably is in US dollars, of course, which is definitely a low dividend payout for this stock. And BN, like the old BAM, will be focused on compounding capital and share price appreciation instead of dividend. On the other hand, Brookfield Asset Management with ticker symbol BAM is the new spin-off portion of their business which is solely focused on asset management and fees from managing capital. This new company is led by Mark Carney as the chair of Brookfield Asset Management. Mark Carney is used to be the governor of the Bank of England from 2013 to 2020 and Bank of Canada from 2008 to 2013. And he has a PhD from Oxford, which is definitely looks good on paper. Brookfield Asset Management will be mostly a dividend-focused stock with a dividend of $0.32 cents per share per quarter. I posted a poll on my YouTube community tab a while back and asked you guys, what will you do with your BN and BAM shares after the spin-off? 47% of you responded, mentioned that they are not sure, and 39% mentioned that they will hold both BN and BAM, which is a really respectable decision and there is a good chance that you will see great returns by holding both stocks. I personally decided to sell my BAM shares and buy more BN. And now I can tell you my reasons as to why I did this and why I continue to buy BN or Brookfield Corporation during this year instead of BAM. There are four simple reasons for this decision. The first reason is diversity. Brookfield Corporation is like, the, is like the mother and the other Brookfield businesses are like the child's. For example, Brookfield has an economic interest equivalent to a 27% stake in Brookfield Infrastructure Partners, 48% in Brookfield Renewable Partners, 65% in Brookfield Business Partners, and 75% in Brookfield Asset Management. By owning Brookfield Corporation or BN, you own not only 75% of the new BAM, but also you own significant portion of other Brookfield businesses, which means more diversity in the income and cash flow for the main corporation, comparing to only asset management business. Still, whatever income, cash flow, and dividend the, the, the new Brookfield Asset Management generates, 75% of that money comes back into Cor Brookfield Corporation, and I can still benefit from all the upside that BAM can offer in future. And this is the main reason I like to hold BN instead of BAM. Second reason I prefer Brookfield Corporation over Brookfield Asset Management is cyclicality. 
and the fact that I'm not particularly interested in asset management business model. Between various Brookfield subsidiaries, I really like infrastructure business as those are crucial and critical assets and businesses for society, and they can generate consistent cash flow during different market cycles. However, fee revenue generating type businesses like asset management can have major fluctuations on revenue due to the changes in assets under management, and this can happen based on only market conditions and economic cycles. I anticipate that the earnings of Brookfield Asset Management to be more cyclical than Brookfield Corporation, which I'm not a fan of. I prefer to hold Brookfield Corporation, which has multiple income generating streams and not only asset management, and its cash flow would be much more stable. Third reason is risk management. I think owning Brookfield Corporation is less risky than owning an individual segment of Brookfield. As I believe the overall focus of management of Brookfield is on the main corporation and not on individual basis segments. For example, two years ago, Brookfield Main Corporation took Brookfield Property Partners private in a $5.9 billion deal which wasn't a good deal for many shareholders of Brookfield Property Partners, as the basically the proposed deal was, uh, has a value that was lower than the net asset value of the for Property Partners company. Brookfield went ahead and bring the company private, as they could unlock value for the main corporation shareholders, and that's just one example which shows why holding the main corporation stock is probably a better idea in terms of the risk management. And the last reason for me, which is not the least, is that I prefer simplicity. Having only one ticker symbol and one company to follow its earnings report is much easier for me. Based on the four reasons I mentioned in this video, I decided to sell my Brookfield Asset Management shares and buy more Brookfield Corporation shares with that money. I may be wrong, but I feel that this was the right decision for me. Of course, you should think about this yourself, do your own research, and make a decision that you are comfortable with. I think holding both businesses are, is also a great idea and you're probably going to make money either way with Brookfield. There you are guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked the video and my discussion about Brookfield Corporation and my decisions, make sure to subscribe to see similar videos in the future. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Farewell.